Hey everyone, Nomada Gaijin here. Today we'll be looking at one of Japan's ancient burial sites called the Hundred Caves of Yoshimi. Let's go check it out. The caves were first excavated in the late 1800s and contain over 200 burial caves, believed to have been built in the 6th or 7th century during Japan's Kofun period. This plus a 400 year old shrine built into a hill are our destinations today. This is the actual site, so it's 300 yen to get in. Nobody wants to go to caves with us, Todd. What's up with that? <laughs> a little rest area room. Well, it's closed today. <laughs> well, there's like old school, right? And if you who ever played Animal Crossing or Dobutsu no Mori, like Honeywell are very popular in the window too. It houses a system of tunnels under the mountain that are no longer accessible to the public due to cave-ins, but there is still plenty to see. And apparently dogs are welcome here too. It's good to know. Ah, you can see the glowing moss over here. We saw some of this glowing moss in Oniyoshi Dashien, the, the demon forged volcanic park. Uh, I did uh, a couple months back, uh, but this looks much nicer. You can see a lot more of it. Well, we can't go inside. Yes. If you look inside, it looks like the tunnel from Game of Thrones, doesn't it? Oh, and it is closed. Hooray! Okay, the most exciting part so far, beware of snakes and bees. The bees are larger than the snakes, so we have to be very careful. This is a special pile of like cut, cut tree limbs. It's a national treasure, so don't <laughs> touch it. We paid 300 yen to walk up a lot of stairs. This is good. These stairs are a national treasure. <laughs> They're a national treasure. This fake log is a national treasure. Oh yeah. Todd has something against national treasures. It is a fake log. What? There's so many trees here. So we're at the top of this, of this uh, hill of graves and historic artifacts that we can't visit for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice though. This appears to be someone's house. I like this cute collection right here. Everything's locked, you can't access anything, so. This gate is a national treasure. <laughs> hey, it's a Fuji, that's nice. Thank you. See you guys later. Huh? A literal man cave. I think we actually lost Todd. Todd, you all right, buddy? Oh, you can actually go in here. Oh, oh, this is the stuff of nightmares. Ah, oh, and here we are. Woo. So Todd and I are in a tiny little cave that was probably used to bury people back in the day. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy in here. Because this is like ancient graffiti and new graffiti, I guess. Probably almost all of it's new. Here's Todd showing us how to gracefully go through a cave. Quite the opposite of how I went through it earlier. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, that's a real scary one. Look like a face. Ooh. As Todd was saying that this would never fly in America, because there's too many places to trip, like this, and how tall are these railings? Definitely tall enough to roll over, he said. <laughs> Glowing moss. No, I'm not going in there. <laughs> okay. 
What is that? That looks really good. I've never seen those before. Yeah, me neither. The lady informed us that this was Gokabo, a famous sweet in Saitama, and it's made locally. It's a very plain, old style snack, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. This place was a tea shop, but also kind of a souvenir shop. And we really enjoyed our time here. The lady was so informative and it has this nice old school feel to it while being right next to the attraction. It was full of so many local treats and snacks. We didn't even have time to look, but I love to come back here and go through each one. I bet there's some amazing stuff here. This shop had a lot of unique items, including these Honeywa statues made locally and old five yen coins from hundreds of years ago. It was also the site of various old movies and it's been featured on TV a few times. The lady at the shop was more than happy to explain the history of the items and about the movies, etc. It was really nice. <laughs> So how long does it last though? Yes. Oh, made from Japanese paper. That's cool. That's awesome. After we bought the snacks, she was showing us about the different tourist destinations and how to get there, explaining the history of the area. She heated up some water and gave us some Sayama tea, which is some of the best in Japan. Then she pulled out a map and she actually started circling locations and explaining how to drive to various spots and which places had parking lots. It was super sweet. While we sipped on some hot, free luxury tea, the lady explained to us that three years ago, there was a bunch of cave-ins and that's why it's not really open to the public anymore and it probably won't be going forward. It's, it's one kilometer wide, that's crazy. Like wow. gymnasium inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of that, like... yeah. One more cup of tea and we were ready to see some more. From 1621. Wow, you really get an old coin for 200 yen. Yeah. And yeah, so that's all I've got. Ah. Woo. So, so I don't know if you remember that little like temple thing that I made out of stones. Todd is a big fan of shaking hands with two dimensional politicians. There we go. After heading out of the 100 Caves of Yoshimi, it's a short walk down the road or a slightly longer scenic path along a river to get to Iwamuro Kanondo. This Buddhist temple was rebuilt in the 1600s, right into a hill, which is rare for that era. It has a special rock formation with a heart shape that people climb through. It's said to give good luck in child delivery and upbringing. Pedestrian's nightmare. Todd is brave. These are some steep steps. Mm. Very cool. I kind of figured. Japan is all about safety, so to make sure no one goes off this cliff, there's a, a thin chain. Safe. It says you can't, but you can. Oh, you can go up the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't say you can't, so. No, that one says you can't, but that's a different sign. Yeah. Pretty cool. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> and the other side goes down. Okay. No one here. Ah. So many narrow places. No chain on this one. Gotta hope for the best. There is. I really want to go up there. I know we're not gonna do it because it says no, but I really want to go up there. Watch the thing. Did I mount the stairs? <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, not too bad. Wow. Look at these guys. Fun around and yeah, that's really nice. I'm gonna do that again. Wow, look up there! There's so much stuff. It's just the history of this place, right? Even right above our heads. Wow. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. It's always appreciated. Looking forward to seeing you all next time. Have a good one.